in this uh, video today uh, we'll be checking out the open got Malibu marketplace eBay connected plugin and uh, using this plugin basically uh, the uh, marketplace admin and the sellers can connect their own eBay stores with the open cart store and can then synchronize the product categories orders uh, product attributes specifications price rules quantity uh, and shipping details between the eBay marketplace and the open cart marketplace itself and apart from that the admin can add and edit and manage multiple eBay accounts for mapping products categories and orders apart from that the admin and the sellers can provide additional information for the exported products like the eBay specification conditions shipping tax written policy dispatch time and the listing details as well so this uh, uh, Elon basically supports uh, the mapping of products with multiple options and variations. So right now I've already logged into my seller or the window account uh, within the open cart platform uh, based marketplace uh, web store here and uh, I've logged into my uh, seller account and uh, let's uh, go back to our account panel. So uh, here on the right hand side I have my uh, marketplace uh, section. And here are uh, under the options here we have the eBay connector and under the eBay connector we have the eBay account connect uh, for connecting our account eBay template listing to create the template listing for the uh, open card products that are to be sent out out to the eBay itself for listing we have the eBay price quantity rule eBay store categories eBay category list condition list specification and map product data section so we'll go through each of them one by one now the admin and the uh, windows can connect their uh, ebay store accounts uh, within the open cart marketplace itself so uh, and now uh, the admin can do that on his own uh, i'll show you uh, that at the end of this particular video so uh, first of all the seller needs to connect his ebay uh, account so for that let's go to the ebay account connect section and in the meantime please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get, receive the latest updates from our end and if you do like this particular video do give it a thumbs up so uh, here we are on the ebay account uh, section as you can see and uh, here we can uh, connect the ebay account so as a window i can account i can add an ebay account here to add a new one just tap here on the add ebay account and uh, so uh, the uh, window just needs to add his uh, account credentials here so uh, the account that he has he'll be having his uh, details for that that need to be entered here and uh, from here uh, the uh, window can also add the shipping details for the same so he needs to enter his uh, store name uh, and then he'll have to choose his ebay global site uh, and here he select the global store uh, from the list itself then he'll have to enter his ebay uh, user id uh, his eBay authentication token, his uh, application ID, developer ID, certificate ID, uh, then the supported currency. So here this list will choose the supported currency and lastly he'll be entering the shop postal code here and uh, thereafter he'll go to the shipping details uh, where he'll be setting up the uh, shipping service uh, priority. Here he'll be choosing the shipping service He'll be setting up the uh, shipping service cost, shipping service additional cost if any, shipping minimum and the maximum time and the free shipping status whether you, he wants to enable the free shipping status uh, as well or not. And thereafter you just need to tap here in the uh, save account uh, button and what uh, that will do is that will uh, add your account here and then we'll have uh, more tabs under the add ebay account details here. So for that uh, let me take you back and I've already added one uh, account here so let me edit that up so after editing here you can see that we have the eBay account details of the window uh, the global side the ID authentication token app ID dev app ID certification supported and the shop postal code so for more details to how to get the app ID dev ID credentials uh, or the certification ID you can check the user guide uh, that we have attached within the description below this particular video uh, to get more acquainted with that and uh, how to saving as i've told you we'll have the map categories map product map order and the export to ebay options let's go to map categories and uh, under map categories and here he'll find the uh, details uh, of uh, the uh, category mapping with the ebay category id 
with the open guard uh, eBay category ID, the eBay category name, the conditional attribute, uh, the variation types as well. Similarly, for the map product, you'll be able to find uh, the complete list of uh, eBay product list here. Uh, you can also check the eBay mapped order list here, and he can also export to eBay or uh, he can export the store products to eBay from here. So he just needs to choose the product and uh, thereafter he can tap here in the export product uh, to eBay button and that would basically export the product uh, to the eBay itself. So this was about uh, the section that uh, here under the my account and then uh, to the eBay section for the marketplace uh, window. So here we have the eBay connector, eBay account connect. Now let's go to the eBay template listing. Uh, let's see what different options are there. So here the uh, window can uh, find the complete list of uh, eBay templates uh, that he has uh, created. And uh, uh, from here he can add the listings, he can delete the, temp uh, delete the templates, he can also uh, filter the templates uh, by choosing the eBay site, uh, date creation, template title, uh, map to eBay category or the modification date of that particular uh, eBay template listing. You can also edit any of the listings by tapping on the edit template button and that brings up the uh, eBay template listing uh, for the uh, editing thing. And here you have the details for the uh, sections here. You can go through each of them what you need to fill up. Then we have the general wherein we'll be setting up the uh, editing we can edit the template title we can change the uh, ebay site we can choose the ebay mapped category uh, the ebay specifications the product condition uh, for the product details as you can see product images shipping details uh, and the rest we can uh, enable or disable the particular template and after making the changes we can tap here in the save button to save that particular ebay uh, template uh, listing uh, to add a new one just tap here on the add listing uh, template and basically this is used with the uh, open card store products whenever they are exported to eBay these uh, details are used to uh, set up the uh, eBay uh, uh, listing of the product there using the templates itself so it's a new template here you can find the details of uh, there as well the keywords uh, that are not fixed uh, that just like examples that you can make up use and then you have the general we can say that the new uh, template title the uh, uh, eBay site the mapped category for the uh, same uh, you can enter uh, the uh, eBay you can choose the uh, eBay specifications for that so we have uh, the uh, site we have uh, only connected with the US one if I go to Canada I'll not be able to choose the details so I've connected with US so I'll have now the options to choose uh, then we can choose the specifications as well from the drop down that we have we can add multiple ones according to the eBay specifications there we can choose them uh, for example we have uh, the EN number and rest we can set up the product condition we can set up the product details and we can add the keyword or the placeholders for these fields uh, the written info can be uh, set up uh, for the products so every uh, specification that is required at the uh, eBay and that needs to be set up here you can enable it up and lastly uh, you can just tap here in the save button apart from that you can also add the product description and you can choose to have the product description or the custom description choosing a product description would uh, make use of that custom you can set up the custom description that you want to set up for the ebay itself for your uh, product that's within your open cart web store and lastly just tap here in the save email template uh, save ebay template uh, uh, button to save your template uh, that would be used to send the product to the ebay itself now uh, let's go to the ebay price quantity rule now so uh, here uh, we can find a complete list of ebay price uh, quantity rules that we've created and uh, can manage uh, this when you can manage the ebay price quantity uh, by clicking it uh, uh, here as we've already seen under the uh, ebay price quantity rule section to add a new one just tap here in the add uh, button now you can choose the rule for uh, if you're applying it for the quantity or for the uh, price of the product uh, you can uh, uh, apply it on the products that you're importing or the products that you're exporting from uh, your uh, open cart to the uh, eBay or if you're importing it from eBay into your open cart you can set up the rule minimum the rule maximum values here and, uh, and the rule minimum maximum would be the price then you can set up the uh, value for which the rule will apply 
you can choose the operation as increment to add or decrement uh, for uh, reducing you can choose whether it's a fixed uh, thing that will happen or it's a percentage of the product price you can choose the sort order you can choose the uh, rule status and uh, lastly you can tap on the save button to save the particular uh, rule so if we choose on apply on import uh, the value uh, for which the rule, a rule would uh, apply and uh, sort order if I tap here in the save button you can see the rule would be saved now rule minimum maximum rule for value operation time type that is uh, going on the operation it's fixed and the rule status is enabled now uh, coming back uh, to uh, the uh, section here that's the eBay connector now we are on uh, here eBay store category so let's go to the eBay store category and uh, from here basically uh, the uh, vendor can import the own uh, custom eBay store categories and to import the custom categories the seller can navigate to the section here and from here he'll be able to add delete uh, or uh, now if I tap here in the add button the vendor can select the eBay store uh, there and can import the custom category so we can choose the eBay store his store name and tap here in the import button thereafter so tapping that up uh, imports the store categories or the custom uh, categories uh, from the eBay into your open cart uh, store now after that uh, after store category we have the category list and here the uh, window can with the uh, list of all of the eBay categories and this seller can fill the categories to view per need and can make use of the eBay category name enter here here so as to filter out the uh, category there and uh, the seller can see the eBay category ID uh, the uh, category name the category level and the eBay state name that it has and uh, uh, that's much for the eBay category list that we have and uh, thereafter if I now navigate uh, to the other section that's the uh, condition uh, list here uh, the when you can uh, filter the uh, what we say as the results on the basis of the eBay condition uh, condition value that we have uh, the condition group uh, the uh, category name and the eBay category uh, name as well and the uh, seller can with the condition value condition uh, group name uh, based on uh, eBay uh, what we have the details here and uh, apart from the condition value uh, the condition group name the base on eBay uh, category and the uh, and uh, the mapped open card category uh, can also be seen by the window from here so here we have uh, the uh, section uh, let me refresh this page once the condition value group based on eBay category and the mapped open card category that we have so here you can see we have different for different ones there now coming uh, to the uh, specification list now and uh, from uh, here the uh, seller can basically see the list of the specifications that have been added to the eBay products along with the specification name ID group name of the specification eBay category name and the open card category name as well uh, from here as well the uh, seller can filter out uh, the uh, what we say as the eBay uh, specifications basically from the complete list of specifications and uh, can filter out them using the uh, filter options that we have that you can see here that uh, are, are available for this uh, particular section that we have and uh, apart from that uh, lastly we have the map product data here and uh, and from here uh, basically the seller can map the eBay product data with the open card store and to make map the data the seller can come to this particular section and here he can add by typing here delete and can edit any of the product data so here you can see that we have a mapped uh, product list data here black white we can edit that up and this brings up uh, the uh, product there the price here we have the eBay specifications eBay conditions and the eBay uh, template uh, that we want to apply on this particular uh, product under which category it belongs to 
and under the eBay specifications we can choose uh, the uh, specifications for our uh, product from the drop downs here and accordingly uh, we can fill all of the details of the specifications uh, for the uh, product uh, itself so uh, and here we have the conditions and the eBay templates now let's go back to the eBay product data mapping to add a new product data mapping we'll just tap here on the add button and from here uh, we'll be selecting our product uh, we'll be choosing the uh, details here for the product press of the uh, specifications uh, for the uh, eBay we'll choosing we'll be choosing the condition uh, condition for the pants condition for others the eBay template that we want to apply and uh, then we can tap here on the uh, product data mapping and that would do the uh, mapping of the product data of the uh, open cart uh, with the uh, eBay itself having the eBay specifications conditions and applying the eBay template that we have uh, chosen there itself let's go back also kindly note uh, the assigned open category to this particular product uh, uh, is uh, mapped with the uh, same eBay category which is used uh, in the selected eBay uh, listing template so kindly uh, remember that up and the selected template will be uh, uh, applicable only if uh, both the categories that is the eBay mapped category for this uh, product and the eBay listing template category are the same if those are same only then the selected template will be applicable for this particular product now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and uh, let's uh, see how uh, the admin can uh, configure the initial configuration settings there so uh, for that let's uh, go to the admin backend panel now and we'll be logging into uh, the uh, backend panel for our open cut platform based uh, marketplace web store uh, so i'll just enter my details and i'll be logging into my account thereafter so i'll just tap here on the login button and now uh, after the successful installation you'll have the marketplace ebay connect uh, option here on the side panel and you'll be having the same uh, the options uh, as you were having on the windows end so here we have the ebay template listing ebay account connect to connect uh, your account uh, let me take you through that once and let's go through each of them one by one and then we'll see the initial configurations so here we have the ebay template listing i'll just open that up as well so uh, here's the eBay template listing, the first one. So here we have all of the templates uh, being uh, displayed. We can add uh, uh, the uh, listing templates. We can delete the templates as well to add. Just tap here on the add listing template button. And that brings up the information general, setting up the uh, template uh, title, choosing the eBay site, choosing the map category, uh, choosing the eBay specifications that we want to have. Uh, the product condition product details product images shipping details as you can see here uh, the rest of the things that are required there uh, then the description we want to have the product description or you want to have a custom description you can set that up tap on the save and that particular uh, template listing would then be uh, list back here uh, uh, for the ebay template list as you can see right now now uh, now under the eBay account connect you can see that we have uh, the uh, seller account is visible here uh, the admin has his own as well and we can add an account by tapping on the add eBay account button uh, I've already shown you how we can manage it on the seller's end uh, we have to set up these details as we're doing for the uh, vendor there and uh, then we'll have the section to map the categories and the rest of the things there so for example let me manage this account here and uh, now if I see I have the map categories uh, map product map order and export to eBay options uh, after entering and saving the details under the map category we have all of the map categories with the eBay categories map products uh, here you can see them uh, the product map ID open cart product ID its name its eBay product ID the open cart category from which it was taken up the sync source was open cart product and uh, from here you can also import or update the products on ebay itself and here you can import or update the products using ebay item id just tap that up uh, choose the separator enter the item id start process and you're done uh, importing or updating your products using the ebay item id you can also tap here on the show result button to check the results there you can delete the product data from here as well going to map order you can import the order from ebay 
itself uh, using that particular uh, button so you just need to type in the import order button and that will import the product and same goes using the order IDs using a single order ID as well uh, you can uh, import the orders there and we have the export to eBay and you can export using the XLS or the CSV file and you can export the uh, product to eBay as well by tapping here on that particular button but uh, you need to select your products for that that you want to uh, export to eBay then let's tap here on the export products to eBay and then you'll see the success message for the same the products that are uh, uh, exported to the eBay there and you can also tap here on the show results to check the results there and the same goes for the price quantity rule uh, we have the eBay map product data the custom categories category list specification list and the condition list as well so for more you can check out the user guide that we have attached in the description below so for a better understanding if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can get back to us at any time using the uh, support at the rate of webcool.com or you can you can uh, generate a ticket by uh, uh, navigating to webcool.uvds.com now let's see the initial configurations for that we go through extensions extensions and uh, then here we'll be choosing modules and here we have our marketplace uh, uh, product so we'll just go to the marketplace uh, eBay connector we'll just tap here on the edit button and uh, here we have the details uh, itself and here we under the configuration settings we have the uh, eBay global site the mode testing of the sandbox that we're using the ID that we want to use the eBay authentication token the rest of the details there and uh, after that we have the import category and uh, from here you can set up the number of row fetch for eBay category you can import the eBay categories as well by tapping here on the import eBay categories uh, uh, to go to a next uh, step just tap here on the next button to go to a previous one just tap here on the previous to import just tap here on the import ebay categories button that we have and that would help up and similarly we can go through the import category product settings so you can check the user guide for the same uh, within the import category we can import the uh, categories then we have the uh, product settings and these are applicable for the open card exported products to the eBay and here the admin can set, apply the price quantity rule can set up the default uh, open card product quantity product export tax status choose the default category uh, and uh, uh, basically when an eBay item category will not map to the open card category at the time of product import from the eBay then the products would be assigned to a default category that would be the uh, default category here and then we have uh, the account delete option so if enabled after deleting an eBay account all the related map data of that particular account would be removed from the open card store else the mapped con entries will be deleted but the products and the orders will remain the same in the open card store then we have the return policies item listing details dispatch options payment uh, shipping details uh, order sync permission that you want to provide to the uh, sellers and uh, here you can choose the eBay account menu options which will be uh, which the admin wants to provide to the marketplace vendors for their eBay uh, accounts and the rest of the details are there itself so uh, that was much about the uh, plugin at the open card multi vendor marketplace eBay connector plugin I hope uh, you uh, somewhat understood the flow of this particular plugin if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of pitbull.com and do check our user guide and the live demo uh, below if you feel any um, any doubts any uh, queries or requirements within that as well do get back to us so that we can assist you much better and once again thanks for watching this particular video that we had today and uh, have a great day ahead